All right, in today's video, we've got a G37 with its check engine light, and we're gonna show you how to diagnose the code and also clear the code using the OBD2 scanner. Hey guys, welcome to Red 50 welcome back to another video. So we've got this G37 that has this check engine light, and today we're gonna to be showing you step-by-step -step how to diagnose this code and also how to clear your check engine light. Now I do wanna clarify something when you do delete the check engine light, if it's caused by something that just randomly triggered the sensor or whatever is wrong with the car, you're not gonna get the check engine light back. But if it is something that is truly broken or the sensor is malfunctioning or one of those things, then you kinda of have to get it fixed and just deleting the check engine light is not gonna help you. In my case, the G37 has been driving just fine. I've noticed no issues but it just pops up with the check engine light. It's kind of annoying to see. So I want to see what the code really is and see if I delete it, if it's going to come back. So we're going to be using this King Bolin OBD2 scanner. The model number is YA200. I picked it up from Amazon, so I'll leave a link in the description. If you guys are interested in checking it out, it's got all the features you expected from an OBD2 scanner. It's got a very nice user interface, and we'll walk you through when we're trying to clear the check engine light, how it operates. All right, so to start off, we're going to need to plug in the OBD2 scanner into your car. Every vehicle is going to have a port. It's in the corner over there at the bottom. I'll show it to you. So here you can see the white port is the OB2 scanner. We're going to plug in the scanner here and we'll walk you through how to clear the check engine light. All right, so our Kingball NYA200 scanner is plugged in. And this is the user interface. I do like if you just want to diagnose the code, you've got the shortcuts here as well. If you want to look up the VIN number, you can do it. There's a couple other features that I like about this one specifically, like you can check the battery level. And if you just have the code, maybe a friend of yours is having issues, they give you a code, you can actually look up the code directly from here and we'll tell you what the code really means. All right, so for our purposes, we're gonna go ahead and go into diagnosis because I'm gonna show you from step by step. I wanna skip any steps and just go directly from here. Although if you are using the King Bowen YA200, you have the option to just press this and we'll diagnose for you. The first step, we're gonna need to turn on the car. As you can see, it's off right now. I'm gonna go ahead, this one's got push to start. All right, we're gonna go ahead and press the push to start button. And here you can see we've got service engine soon, which is the check engine light right here. So we're gonna attempt to diagnose it and also delete this check engine light. All right, so here is our OBD2 scanner. What we're gonna go do is go into diagnostics so you can navigate with these arrows. Press, press okay, to detect the information. And here you can see it has detected three codes. Some of them are gonna be permanently stored. Some of them are gonna be temporary. So we're gonna go ahead and press okay to see what codes are stored. And here you can read the codes, erase the code, and also monitor a bunch of cool stuff. A lot of it is really nice. So let's read the code first to see what the codes are there. And you've got the option for stored codes, pending codes, and permanent codes. Pending codes are the one of the temporary ones. So we're gonna go for the stored code because that what typically causes the check engine light. All right, so we'll go ahead and press okay. And it's got O2 sensor. Bank one sensor two is the cause of it. So we've got one of these codes. It's got two more, or I guess one more. And they both relate to the same thing. So even though the car drives fine, emissions wise, it's having issues it seems like. So we're gonna go ahead and see if we can delete the code and remove the check engine light. So I'm gonna press the back button to go back. One more step. And here we've got erase code. So we're gonna press okay. And it's asking if you wanna clear all the codes. And we'll go ahead and press okay. And it says the DTC, which is the codes, have been cleared. And you can see the check engine light is completely gone now. And just to double check, we're gonna go ahead and read codes to see if they're still stored. And as you can see, there's no codes are stored in the module. So that means the check engine light is gone. So this was very easy to do with this King Bolin YA200. I will link the scanner in the description if you do want to purchase this exact same scanner because like I said, it's very user friendly. It's got nice construction to it, nice grip to it. I'm personally a huge fan of it and it was only like 20 bucks or something like that on Amazon. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. This helps you kind of diagnose the issue that your vehicle is experiencing, at least get you the code so you can avoid paying hundreds of dollars for diagnostic fee at a service shop. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like this video and always subscribe to Red 5.0 for more videos.